Hi, I'm Manuel. I'm from um, AAA. See you in church. Right behind me, you see the character Momo. It's a big thing right now. The children are telling each other to do this Momo challenge. And you should listen. It started with grown up kids in high school, from what I understand. They did it it's like the Ouija board, and people get scared and blah, blah. Then little kids heard them doing it. So, of course, you know, the younger brothers want to be like their older sister, older brother, whoever. And they started doing the Momo challenge. And they got the number of whatever it is to do it. Now, kids are, you know, go and say, oh, you chicken and everything. So other people do it. Now, little young kids are doing it. The problem is this isn't real. But there's a real person behind this playing these games. I don't know who it is, but it's getting done all the way around the world and actual children are getting harmed. Parents aren't listening to the kids when they come to tell them about it. And instead what happens? Child goes and does something stupid to harm themselves because they think they're, make, they're keeping their child their parents, their family, their friends safe. And the character tells you, if you don't do it, we're gonna come and hurt you. And what happens? The kid will believe you. That's the problem. The children are believing this bully. And the parents aren't listening, like always. Well, this is my child is a child. Of course, he's gonna, all I'll, I'll do is I'll put my foot down. No, all you're doing is you're making this character stronger by doing that. And we don't wanna do that. We need you to listen to your kids. Hear what they're saying to you. We need to keep our children safe. That character can't win. Or the person behind it because they somehow use their phone they call or whatever and after they do that this character shows up on the phone then after it shows up on the phone it goes over and tells them to do terrible things and after the parent, they go to tell the parent, the parents, you know, act silly, doesn't listen to their kid. The kid leaves crying, whatever, and does what the character tells it to do, to protect their family, to protect themselves, whatever. And the problem is it's happening around the world. They're getting hurt. Children are dying from what I'm hearing. And I'm doing a plead to the grown-ups, the parents, the older brother or whoever, not to let this character win. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. It's just... Another person who scares somebody. It's just like bullies. They scare the child. The child listens and boom. They start a fire. They play with something it told them to do. On and on and on. We have to take care of our children because our children are not smart enough to say no I'm not going to play the challenge. I'm not going to play the game. They want to be part. They want to fit. And there's a lot of pressure for them to fit. Sometimes it's from the parents. Sometimes it's not. 
but kids want to be in the middle of everything and this challenge we think it's fake which it is but in some cases someone is there and they're telling your kid to do things and the kids not smart enough to just say no so we have to be the one that's smart enough to listen and tell our child no it's not real you're not going to get harmed i'm going to take care of you because that's what we're if we're going to do it you are you're going to take care of your children and you have to be like that you have to listen to them because nowadays has become scary out there we we hear all the children are are not being listened to when the parents don't listen and then the kid grabs a gun and there he goes we're not listening to them they go and they start shooting people and we hear them saying it but we don't we are not being real we're not le listening to the how um the child is so tired of it we we just don't get it and then they go get a gun and they shoot everybody that is in the middle of it that's the problem the teachers and everything and the news keep saying well we don't know why we do know why why the bully whether it's a cheerleader a football player a baseball player whatever the head cheerleader the head football player they think it's funny to torment the child then a teacher sees it and says oh it's just kidding around because this person is up there he isn't one of us the regular people he's one of the che cheerleaders or it's one of the football players or it's one of the head of the um photography class or whatever but they're not the regular student. They're not. And what are we doing? We're let, letting our child down because we're not listening to them. They have kids that they told not to come to school the next day. There are kids that are seeing that the teacher, and they even tell them, oh, the teacher just didn't pay attention, just laughed along with everybody else when the person was embarrassing him at school and he, one of the, there was even one occasion where the girl was going to school she bumped into the friend the friend said Did, i told you not to go to school she goes but i have a test and he says don't worry about that the test will get canceled anyway go home and she went home heard what was going on and returned to school but the drama had already been over when she got there she told the camera people about it and what did the camera people say we have no reason why it happened but she told them that they had been bullying them and the teachers won't paying attention to it that's the problem how many times do you have to tell somebody before they listen to what's going on it should be once and as parents brothers sisters we should listen and make sure it doesn't happen anymore we don't need to lose any more people children to any of this especially to this fake momo because guess what it is fake but there's a real person in the other side when they're playing that game that these people are connecting to. Let's keep our children safe and let's listen to them, please. Well, it's Manuel. Subscribe to my channel. Put that little high up there. And tell me what you think. How do you feel about this? Because to me, it's scary. 
and I don't want to hear any of my friend's children have gotten hurt because I've spoken to some children when I go to my friend's homes and a couple of the children have asked me about it and I told them it's not real. It's, it's a game that people are playing and that's another person. Don't listen to them. Don't play the game. Okay, my friends are gonna play. I said, well, don't go over there. Be safe. And when they're not playing this game, then you go and play with them. <laughs> you know. But they shouldn't be hearing it from me. They should be hearing that from their parents. You. Anyway, keep yourself and your children safe. You take care of yourself. AA, see you at church.